Give us your thoughts then on what it is that's been pushing up uh, uh, yields. There's a slightly shifting narrative from the Fed, maybe. There's a resilient U.S. economy. There's increasing, uh, increasingly pricing in perhaps a Trump win. What are you looking at? Yeah, good morning, Anna. I was really worried you're going to ask from this hearing the conversation you're just ask, having there because I'm not sure I can actually add loads more to what Critty and Guy already just said. I do think there's an element of the Trump trade coming in, his increase up in polls, the idea not only of the, the increased fiscal deficits under Trump, even though both will obviously have no fiscal discipline, as you outlined, Anna, but also the fact that Trump is going to be aggressive on trade, and that is going to be problematic for Europe as well. So then there's the combination of a little bit of creeping back of bond vigilantes, not quite to that, ex that extent Extreme. We're not getting anywhere near a Liz Trust type moment. But I think the idea that everywhere people are getting a little bit worried by government spending and combined with that, we're getting a little bit more worried about what's the, the trade dynamics going to look like. And that's going to be problematic for, for country, um, regions like Europe that are open economies. You've got to remember that the US is much more closed than Europe. So I think there's a lot of concern here. What happened in BTPs is particularly interesting because Italy got the, the, the kind of the, the better ratings decision and therefore should have benefited it on a relative basis. But as kind of Guy asked that question there, are people selling oats to buy BTPs? Clearly not at the moment. And in fact, we seem to be differentiating into a new kind of core versus periphery. Uh, and unfortunately now, France is no longer perceived as part of the core. It is much more part of the problematic group. And I think that's what we're starting to see, that, that creeping of that theory out there. Mark, you mentioned a key point around governments are spending around the world and that's showing up in the bond market. But I'm curious if the margin matters at all. Even under a Harris presidency, the deficit is expected to get triggered. It's expected to be less than what Trump may trigger. But it is still uh, supposed to be a U.S. government that spends beyond it means, its means. Does the margin of the deficit matter for the bond market? Yeah. No one knows until there's the suddenly binary tipping point. I guess the Liz Trust situation in the UK kind of showed that, you know, and the US does have its exorbitant privilege. Uh, I, you know, I've had this conversation with many people in the last few weeks because, as you, you made clear, Critty, both candidates will yep. continue aggressive fiscal spending despite the fact that economies are strong. At what point do we tip over the margin? It's hard to know, but it's certainly the narrative around Trump is that he really doesn't care at all. So therefore, it's more okay. likely under that scenario because the narrative, not the tipping point. If, so I sell bonds with a Trump win. Do I buy bonds with a Harris win? No, not particularly, but I think it's, it's no longer necessarily a sell bonds trade. I think you might have a, a slightly, I guess on a relative basis, they do slightly better. Um, but I think it's, it's a slightly a different part of the curve. But I think it's really the long end that it suffers aggressively under Trump. Whereas Harris, people get a bit more nervous about the economy and that keeps the long end balanced.